Some amazing comedy shows um, at the garden. And did we just go straight to the top shelf by getting this young man in? Yeah, we probably... And I'm careful uh, when I say young man. I thought, I thought, I thought you were going to say uh, we've got some fantastic shows and Akmal. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy as well. <laughs> he apparently, he's doing a show in, in a tent. Nah, we went to the top. We plucked you off. Welcome so much. Thanks for coming thank in. No, thank you. For, thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's great to... Um, to be here at Nova, we said plucked you off as well. Too, yeah. by the way, just to, uh... I, 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 I've been I've been plucked a few times. I think I'm plucked in this this whole festival. I'm plucked, <laughs> and the heat. People come in. You can either go to a sauna for an hour or come see Akmal. Mm. It's the same thing. So we've had a couple of artists in here, and and some of them have got air conditioning. Did you not put that in your rider? Oh, I've got some air conditioning, but it just it's like a guy blowing on the back of people's heads. Oh God! It's not, what, what, you might as well have. That it's not that strong, but it's okay because I'm on at night, so it starts to cool down a little bit, okay. so people don't die. Well, we clarified plucked. You might want to clarify what you just said about the guy. <laughs> about the what? <laughs> the guy blowing on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's a it's a very different show this year. It's yes. a very different. It's uh, you gotta like, keep it fresh. Keep it fresh, exactly. And it is fresh and uh, <laughs> and um, and and surprising. Yes. Expect the unexpected. Yes, yes. exactly right. How many times do you reckon you've been uh, performing here? Every I've been. Man, I'm old. I be, you know, it's before before comedy even began, I I was I was coming here. The first time I came to Adelaide, I got um, I got sunstroke and I ended up in hospital. Really? Yeah. My first show was in hospital. I was getting a, I was getting a drip, and um and it was a sketch show. So it was like. Three Three people. Yeah, I was one of the trio, and um, and that, that my friends, my so-called friends, came to visit me in hospital and said, "Oh man, we did it without you. It was the best show ever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just worked so well." <laughs> the secret ingredient oh, was yeah. not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we we found out. Well, I, I feel that because I had gastro last week and I was off for a day, and Hazy couldn't speak hardly enough from Abby Abby in the newsroom. Who I filled know in. it happens. Eh? Yeah, happens, yeah. yeah. Right. you don't get gastro. Is is the rule in radio? I can tell you. It does not pay for you to have any time off in radio. No. or uh, Yeah, it's true. That's yeah. true. I just can't believe the scandalous things I was saying on air somehow got back to you. Oh, yeah. yeah who would have thought? Oh, what were you calling yeah. me again? I, th- I thought it was, uh, well, she had gastro at one stage. I tried yeah. to claim that she had gout. Yes. And that her foot was as big as a brick. Well, at least that, that people do listen, even if it's the actual uh, announcer. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way. Well, how are the ratings on this show? Yeah. We haven't uh, got ratings yet. We haven't got Oh, no. We don't even use ratings. Well, who cares about ratings? You're not here to... Yeah. It's not a popularity comp... comp- well, it is actually. Yeah, it, <laughs> is. it is. I mean, the only people that care about ratings are our bosses who dictate whether we have a job or not and how much we get paid. Yeah. That's yeah. the only people that care. Look, I, I used to work for Nova and we had a, a producer. I won't mention his name. But, you know, very... Well, he was like a PD. And very highly paid, and drove very expensive cars, and drank very expensive wines, and had lots of parties. Yeah. And um, and this, um, for for two years, I thought, what does this guy actually do? Mm. And and what he did was he'd come in and have a meeting and say, um, okay, folks, now uh, we're number two in the ratings right now, mm. and we really should try and be number one. Oh, is that the time? I got to go to Perth. <laughs> And then, and then you wouldn't see him for another month, and I never found out what he does. Yeah. It's a mystery. Oh, Just sort of cruises around being important. Well, that's right. A lot. That's good. I like that's, that job. That's the title. Hey, mm. I'm jealous of you because you live in Byron in some sort of I, hippie commune. Is that no, right? I used to live in Byron, and then we we moved out. We we live in a place called Rosebank. You should come and visit. Okay. Yeah, one burn road. <laughs> it's uh, you should, any just drop in anytime. Anyone yeah. listening want to drop in? Right. It's uh, we've had a lot of people drop in. When you live in a nice area, you have many more friends. Yeah, especially uh, around Christmas, around like uh, Blues Fest. You've got all these festivals. Yeah, and we find we have friends that we don't even recognize. Yeah, right. They just come in and they sleep at our house, and it's yeah. nice though. I yeah. like it. I like it. Well, that's cool. Mm. Did um, do you do you live in a house similar to the Hemsworths? Yeah, exactly like the Hemsworth, but mm. very different. In 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 the same way that I look exactly like Hemsworth, <laughs> it's a, but kind of different. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. kind of different. Yeah, and every time you go for a surf, you get papped. Oh, so difficult I get for you, Akmal. Yeah. yeah, I've been I've been papped a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's like a pap smear. 
Is, that, <laughs> is it? No. I've, been, I've had a lot of things done to me now because I'm at the age where doctors are allowed to put fingers where fingers didn't <laughs> <laughs> have not been inserted before. Yeah, so I, I thought that was old school. New school is the blood test. You still going old school with the no, old. No, no. I, I I insisted on the finger. I, I said, hey, I, I I worked hard to get to this age, <laughs> and I've been looking forward to this. Oh, no, don't, don't trust the new system. You know what to do. That's right. Hey, mate. Uh, obviously, your CV been around for so long. I'm just looking at some of the shows you've been on. Every single show that is credible, you've been on. So I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Hey, hey, it's Saturday Rove Live, the footy show, Rugby League. Yes. Uh, Glass House. Uh-huh. Thank God you're here. Was there any show that you did and you went, oh, yeah, shit? Most of the ones you just mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny you said credible and then he said I'm a celebrity get me out of here oh, no. I, was, I, was, I thought someone was going to pick me up on that you're being, you're being sarcastic look you know you know, they asked me to do that show a few times and I thought no I'm an artist I don't do that and then I fell into some very uh, bad tax debts I had tax debts my accountant forgot to put in my tax for three years in a row <gasps> And I had all these debts, and they offered me the show for the third time. And I thought, well, I, I can either do I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, or go to prison. <laughs> I really should have gone to prison. <laughs> that would have been far more comfortable yeah, oh. and better food. Le- yeah, I was going to say, did you do those horrible things where you have to eat disgusting, vile animals? And- you had to do a lot of disgusting things. One of the benefits, one of the things that I really um, am grateful for, I got to meet um, Shane Warne. Yes. And he was one of my heroes, you know, and yeah. I was I don't get starstruck. Look, he's not even listening anymore. He's, he's bored. <laughs> you. No, no, no. I'm just making sure. So every, we've had a couple of situations. You'd be able to understand here, Akmal, where yes. I've, got, I've got it recording. Yes. We had an interview uh, a couple of weeks ago where oh. halfway through I've looked over and I'm like, Don't tell oh, me. Oh, f- yeah. It's not recording. <laughs> yes. so, I, so every now and I'm just sort of- Well, you're going to have to go back and- over to, to make sure that it's And there. now you're going to have to go back and erase that- f- yeah, <laughs> see, absolutely. See, you've, you've, caught, you've made more, more work for yourself. There's a giant edit point in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and if anyone's going to miss it, it's him. <laughs> that's right. Well, it, it's, it's okay with Nova. But, you know, people listen. Yeah, at Nova, they don't. You know, back, back in my day when I was young, you know, to, to say the f word was a, what, it was know, a big deal. Was a big deal. Yeah. Now you don't even notice it. Yeah. So you met Shane Warne. Yeah. And um, and I was really starstruck. I was really intimidated for the first few days, and then I realised he was just a, a nice bloke. You yeah. know, he's just telling stories and funny and okay. all that and then um and then one one night i was lying in this hammock you know where we lie and it's like so hot it's about 35 degrees like adelaide but not as hot it's africa <laughs> yeah. it's only it's only africa right yeah. and um and and it's got all these tv lights it's, it's a pretty surreal setting anyway yeah and shane comes up he goes oh mate i'm not feeling too well i said what's wrong he goes well i I've got the worst case of constipation. I haven't done a shit in three days. <laughs> and I thought, at that moment, I thought, man, this is going to be the most surreal moment of my life. Yeah. I'm here in South Africa, yeah. and there's the Shane yeah. Warne, the spin king, discussing his bowel movements yes. with me. Yeah. And you're like, but, well, uh, Warne, is there anything I can do to help you? Because well, I am a big fan. Well, he eventually dropped a sitter. <laughs> so, and... Uh, <laughs> and it was great, and and everyone was was. But he was a fantastic guy. That's one of one of the ben- one of the good things I look back and think. Well, I, you know, it was a terrible time doing that show, but at least I met one of my heroes. Yeah, yeah. And I I remember he said the same thing. They threw a about me. No. Oh. A heap of- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Akmal. I was wanted to meet him all my life. And- no. They threw a heap of money at him to do it for years and years and years, and he said no, no, no. And then he said it just the amount got so obscene he couldn't well, no. say no. You see, I had a chance with him about oh, that. Oh, yeah. He so was, I've just made that up. Well, no, no, it wasn't obscene by his standards. Yeah, right. right? So he was once, uh, he was he was whinging about, oh, God, I hate this. This is awful, you know, because it is. It's pretty tough. Yeah. And they don't show that. Uh, and I said, oh, man, just think about the money. Uh, he was getting $2 million to yeah. do it, right? And he said, mate, that's, I, don't, I didn't do it for the money. Just before he came, this guy offered him um, a, a, like an ad online, just online, and it was $2 million. And, and and it was like it would have been like two days work. So and why did he do it then? For his kids, he wanted to because his kids loved the show, oh. and they kept saying, "Dad, you got to do it. You'd win it. You'd win it." Yeah. And so he did it for them. Yeah. And um and the money was not a big deal. And I said, "Well, maybe you can give me the two million. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a real big tax debt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was, uh, so it was fun. Yeah. Well, Akmal, um, thank you so much for coming in. Have a great time at the Fringe. Stay cool.
I, oh, try. I will try. I will. I will. I am cool. Yeah. In, in that sense, but I'll try. See, I don't mind because I'm from Africa originally. You know. I know. Any, anything <laughs> under forty degrees, I have to wear a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aqua live at the Mayworth and Gluttony nightly until March 19. Tickets through gluttony.net.a. Thanks for having a chat with us. Mate. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.